I don't know that, if that's worth anything. I've heard the name before. But uh, here we have HEGC spawning at the bottom left as the red Zerg. The yellow Zerg at the top right is our good friend Sensor. I don't know, it seems, uh, it seems Zerg versus Zerg lately has kind of been moving away from the completely crazy Zerg versus Zerg that we saw when the game was first coming out and uh, for a lot of the beta where you would just, you know, get Banelings and then smash Banelings into each other until someone comes out the winner. I think people are getting the timings down a little better. They're, they're able to better figure out, you know, how to get Roaches out, how to move into Mutalisks, uh, how, to, how to just get out of that insane early game. So uh, yeah. we'll see how well these players do that kind of stuff. The Sank, uh, Sank the Lord, or the StarCraft II gods that ZVZ has progressed outside of Zergling Baneling. Uh, when I, one of my first uh, co-pro casts was with Artosis, and uh, it was back in, I believe, Beta Phase 1 when we were discussing Zerg vs. Zerg and what it was going to turn into, and uh, just so, so glad it, uh, it evolved out of that stage. Yeah, <laughs> just as we say that, Sensor uh, being a joker... Saying spoiler, he's going Ling Bane Ling. Uh, I um <laughs> now if he doesn't go Ling Bane Ling, I don't know. I, I think that's just a little BM because a lot of tournaments actually discourage talking because the mind games are just so crazy, especially for players that don't know each other. I mean, even though Sensor could be just joking, um, you know, ATGC may not know that, so it's it's a uh, fairly interesting for sure. Yeah, but, since they're uh, dropping actually a late spawning pool, getting that uh, the extractor up, and then the spawning pool going down at 15, so uh, a strange timing really. Uh, usually with Ling Bane Ling you have a bit of an earlier spawning pool, something around 13 I believe is the standard for uh, early game Ling Bane Ling aggression. Yeah, versus a Terran player, I do like to see the 13 pool, um, because it just leads to a much earlier bust when the Terran player won't have a lot of Marines or Marauders out yet, but um, really, Zerg versus Zerg, it really depends on when your opponent's getting your pool. Whoever puts their pool down first is usually at a disadvantage, because the player who has their uh, pool later will have more drones and better economy, which, if they can hold off that first set of aggression, uh, they'll be in a much better position. But Zergling speed going down at darn near the same times. Uh, but we do have Sensor actually pumping out, pumping out a few Zerglings, uh, while uh, ATGC is actually voting or vouching for the Queen. Yeah, ATGC also getting that spine crawler down, which is a huge red flag that he's not going to be very aggressive in the early game. That's uh, really 150 minerals there dedicated to defense. And uh, ooh, but down comes the baneling nest. So who knows? Yep, both players uh, got that baneling nest on the way. It sensors was just a little bit faster, but it really won't mean that much in with uh, with this rush distance. <clears throat> so long at caverns. Yeah, despite being a two-player map, the rush distance is quite long. Oh, so we've got <laughs> running around here. A little bit of. A a battle in the early game. ATGC forced to run away. Sensor has the superior link count. I got to admit, uh, non-speedlings versus regular zerglings versus regular zerglings is probably the most boring part of StarCraft II because they're just so slow. They're not really that fun. They're hopping around. They're not flying. Oh, speed has kicked in for both players now, and uh, we do have a little bit more of interesting action. action. But yeah, it looks I think like sensor maybe deep right there, and I think sensor was like, "Oh man, I'm gonna get my link speed, and I'm just gonna catch up to him." And then ATGC was like, "I'm just gonna get my link speed, and I'm gonna get the hell out of there." And then it kind of <laughs> both popped at the same time. And they're like, "Well, okay." Every time I see Zergling or uh, Speedling versus Speedling, I just want to like put it on times eight and play some Benny Hill, but uh, of <laughs> course I don't have that ability for you right now. <laughs> Banelings are on the way here for Sensor, but the 1 and 2 are going to get taken out, so that is going to be a very big hit here for uh, uh, for Sensor. If he can't get some Banelings morphing quick, he's going to be in a bad position, because ATGCs are almost done, and all of these Zerglings are just going to dissipate to these uh, to these Banelings. Yeah, Sensor being so risky there, right by the Baneling cocoons, and he's running around with a, all of his Lings in one pile. It could have been so bad for, AT, or for Sensor. Not, so it's likely going to be Mutas. Well, no, it will not be Mutas. He's only on one gas. 
I don't know what the point of that early layer tech is when you don't have enough gas, because ATGC is in a very powerful position right now with uh, four banelings and a bunch of zerglings just against uh, a few zerglings. Some banelings are trying to be morphed in here for sensor, but they may not be in time. If ATGC does push in, he's morphing in a lot more banelings. This could be interesting. Uh, some banelings getting caught up, but lots of zerglings are dying. And Sensor's in a very bad position now, but two banelings here are going to take out quite a few. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, uh, baneling versus baneling is terrible. Uh, hey, five. Got those banelings in the base. Drones oh. are running away. I don't like how he's uh, got his, all his drones clumped up. They are oh going to die. God. Oh, no. Uh, because they are now off creep, uh, of course, drones don't get a speed bonus from... Uh, from creep, so but the banelings do, so the drones are able to outrun them, and he only sacrifices a few. But if we look at the income tab now, uh, ATGC is in a very good position. He is up on the harvester count, uh, and it looks like ATGC is going to lose an overlord here to this queen. Uh, he's going to quickly spawn larva and then go back to attacking it because you do want to kill that overlord. No queen, what are you doing? Go kill that overlord! <laughs> and now a huge number of lings are piling in from ATGC. Second hatchery going up for Sensor. Sensor got that lair tech, but he's still just not taking advantage of it. Yeah, the second extractor is up, but there is no saturation in it, saturation in it because he lost so many. <laughs> Banelings, like I said, just dissipate here to these, uh, while well, Zerglings dissipate to the Baneling. Yeah, that was, uh, I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Terrible idea. You do not want to waste banelings on a queen. It takes so many banelings to kill a queen. It's not even funny. Yeah, oh, that looked that like was just an attack move gone terribly, terribly wrong. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Sensor is in a very good position now. He's at Lair Tech. He's free to drone up right now because uh, he, I'm sure he, he has this Overlord here. So I'm sh does he see the expansion? No, he does not see the expansion, but he does see a bunch of speedlings. Or funneling here into uh, or towards sensor's base, but if he morphs a few more banelings, he will be fine. Yeah, this uh, 